It's Christmas season at the White House, where this weekend they continue to throw packed holiday parties with unmasked guests. Well, I certainly hope to make the most of Christmas because New Year's is going to be a party in the ICU. Of course, the White House already kicked off the holidays by unveiling First Lady Melania Trump's Christmas decorations. And following years of somewhat controversial choices, this year she went with something truly unexpected, Christmas decorations. And the First Lady also released her usual holiday video where she wanders around the White House looking at decorations all by herself. It's like a scene from a Home Alone movie, but with fewer appearances by the president. Anticipation for these decorations was higher than usual this year because the day before she was diagnosed with COVID, a woman who pretended to be her friend released secretly recorded conversations in which the First Lady channels her inner Grinch. They say I'm, I'm complicit. I'm the same like him. I support him. I don't no. say enough. I don't do enough. No. It's, where, it's, where I am, they, I put the, I'm working like a ass, my ass. I, I know. That Christmas stuff that, you know, who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decoration? Okay, that might sound bad, but I want to point out the president was right. We're saying Christmas again. She didn't say who gives a f about happy holiday stuff. So... Has the First Lady finally found the spirit of the season? Here to tell us, live via satellite from Washington, please welcome Melania Trump. Madam First Lady, thank you for joining us. Mary, hello, and very Christmas to you, Stephen. And, and to you too, ma'am. I have to ask you about hosting these controversial holiday parties at the White House. Aren't you worried at all your guests could get sick? Oh, who doesn't wake up a little sick after a good party, eh? Besides, I've always considered nausea a side effect of spending an evening with my husband. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I see... I see your trees there. You seem... Like you went with more traditional decorations this year, ma'am. Oh, yes. After years of buying spooky decorations from the Halloween store, I finally wanted to express the real Melania. So I took these beautiful, perfectly happy trees, dragged them into the White House, and covered them in glitz so you don't realize they are slowly dying inside. Well, it does look good, and I'm, I'm actually curious about your thoughts on Christmas. Because of that tape that was secretly made of you, it sounds like you don't really care for the season. Oh, Stephen, that was just locker room talk. Besides, I was just quoting from my favorite Christmas carol. Who gives a f about Christmas? Who gives a f about Christmas? Who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decorations? As beautiful as that was, and it was absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to point out those are not the lyrics to the song. Oh, really? Then why is it on my album? Now that's what I call secretly recorded Christmas. Okay, let's switch gears for a moment here. There are rumors that you're taking meetings with publishers. Ma'am, are you writing a book? Oh, yes. I am hard at work on my White House memoir. Do you want to hear some? Um, I don't my know. My family I... lived in the South Shore neighborhood of Chicago in a tidy brick bungalow that belonged... Madam to First Lady, I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. You're doing it again. That is clearly plagiarized from Michelle Obama's memoir, Becoming. How dare you? That is from my book. Hashtag Be Best Coming. It's going to be a big Be Best seller. Call me, Oprah Book Club. Okay, now there are rumors that unlike the president, you've already accepted the election results and you just want to move on. Is oh, that yeah. true? Yes, Stephen. It's like I keep telling my husband, Donald, it's over. We both know it ended a while ago. Now we just need to accept that and keep going until the prenup runs out. Well, very romantic. In that case, with just a few weeks left in the White House, are there any other final things that you hope to achieve as First Lady? Pardon me, Stephen. I'm sorry. I, I said, are there any other final oh, things? Oh, no, no, no. I heard you. Before leaving the White House, I want my husband to pardon me. I can't go to jail. I don't want to share a cell with Kaylee McCannane. First Lady Melania Trump, everybody. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, Stephen. See you at the parties. <coughs> we'll be right back with Christopher Walken. You should, you should have that checked out, man. <laughs> 